Ah, Vancouver. Such a beautiful city, but expensive as hell. I feel like when you get rich, you unlock parts of the city like a video game. Like now you can go rent that boat. Now you can go to that mysterious restaurant that was off limits before. I moved here with... <laughs> I moved here with nothing but $35,000 in student loans, that is. And they say you're supposed to enjoy your 20s and experience all the experiences. But how do you do that when all the experiences cost money? A couple years ago when I realized I was down bad financially, as some people might say, I had to do the adult thing and uh, start tracking my expenses. You know, it's not fun, but we all gotta do it. We gotta do it. And this week, we'll see if I've gotten any better. This video starts right now. I just decided that because I just got a new camera in the mail and I cannot wait. One thing I learned from Atomic Habits, that book, is if you wanna start a habit or do something more, make it as simple and easy as possible. And that should encourage me to vlog more, make more content. So this was $800. Oh my God, it's beautiful. For a long time, I've been carrying that around everywhere. And now the rest of this vlog is hopefully gonna be shot on this if all goes to plan. And I do have a real estate client visiting from Montreal. We looked at a few apartments yesterday, so we're going out for dinner tonight and it's a good look. It's a good look to pay. So I think I will spend more money today, but we'll see. Because you can use copyrighted music in your videos, which I do do, I do that sometimes, but you can't make money from those videos then. So every time you hear a song in my videos that you recognize, I'm not making any money. It's kind of how it works. But uh, sometimes it's not about the money, it's, it's about, about the vibes. The vibes. I was trying to find a spot to park near, like on Davy Street, it's not easy. And it just so happens that it's literally right there. Look at these single family homes on top of these restaurants. Davy Village is pretty cool. Good morning. Just finished watering the plants. Plant friends, that's right, thank you guys, you don't cost very much. Just about to go grab a coffee. But I did wanna say before we go, I made, I started making these what I spend in a week videos like two years ago or something because my channel started as a personal finance channel. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel where I help the new generation make and save more money. How to make money online, I was one of those guys. And I'll say the reason I actually started that channel was because I moved here, got my first job as a video game developer, you know that if you see my earlier videos, for $42,000 a year, I was looking good. But then I realized like a salary position, even at that much money, it's like you just don't get very far. But when I got that job, the very first thing I did was I booked a call with a financial advisor, which honestly, I, I highly recommend that. A lot of people think see, talking to a financial advisor like costs money. I thought it would cost a lot. It's like you're talking about finances, like they're gonna charge you for that, but... I just knocked something out my window. But when you bank with a financial association that actually has your best interest in mind, they give you things for free like that. Like they have those resources. So you can see a financial advisor with Van City, for example, for free. As long as you bank with them, you get all their resources. If talking to a financial advisor sounds good to you, I'm linking all of Van City's resources below this video because they have your best interest in mind. Like me getting a coffee for myself in the morning. It's the same type of thing, you know? $2,000? Drinking this coffee and it's been in my car for a couple hours. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Go home. 
home and I bought some kimchi and you're gonna be like, where'd you get kimchi? I don't even know, okay. I They were giving out samples on the street downtown. It was like a nice little lady and this guy and they were, you know, there were samples and I'm just making excuses. So I was, this was $13.99. I don't spontaneously buy stuff very often, so I'll be okay with this. Going out for dinner right now with some friends. Matt Mort is one of them, another creator. And I'm gonna bring this for the first time. Walk into dinner. So you use the same camera. I use the very same. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Oh. It is. I it is the, the vlogger camera. I went to the camera store and I was like, I'm a, I'm a YouTube man. Tell me what camera to buy. And they were like, buy this one. Did they ask about your channel and stuff? No. Saturday today, good morning. What do you do on a Saturday? You go to the beach. Today we're going to my favorite beach, actually. But before that, a little appreciation segment. Thank you to Van City, the sponsor of this video. Van City is a local credit union here in BC, and they're a cooperative, which means they're owned by their members. I used to think when you put your money in the bank, it just kind of sits there because it's your money. But really, the bank, they do stuff with that money. Maybe the shareholders buy a yacht, or maybe they buy a muscle car. Hmm? Leave that there as a reminder. With Van City, instead of the profits that they make going to a few shareholders and their yachts and uh, cool cars, 30% of all their profits go back into the communities that they're a part of through their shared success program. So if you want your money going to a cleaner and more fair world, fighting climate change, supporting affordable housing and financial inclusion, consider Van City. And now we get to go to the beach. What should I paint? Look around for some inspiration. Maybe I'll paint some spike ball. The Carno Beach, just west of Jericho, west of Kits. It's just way quieter. I, pre I prefer it over this way. A bunch of smiley faces. <laughs> That's nice. And I love having this corner unit that this this apartment is, but does it ever get hot? Like I live in an older building, like most buildings in Vancouver, we just don't have air conditioning. So if you're in a corner unit or somewhere that gets sun all day, I'm wearing pants right now and uh, maybe a regret. Look at this, using the tote bag already, let's go. That was $671, and I feel like, oh my god, the left side of my mouth, I, I feel like I look funny talking right now. You might not even be able to tell, but I think I look funny. $671. My new tote. A few creators in Vancouver, some of the bigger ones, they have like a studio that they work out of because when you're a creator, it's kind of like lonely, right? Sometimes you don't have coworkers and that kind of thing. And today there's a bunch of people going there. So I'm gonna come by and get some work done. Gotta make sure you do not leave anything like this in the car or it may be gone when you come back. So I was right, $8, two hours of parking. Gastown is the most expensive. Anywhere else, and you can find cheaper, but Gastown, I don't know why. I don't know.
ready. Monday morning, we're in the car, it's a sunny day, I got the short sleeve on, summer is here and I'm feeling good and that means getting an iced coffee in the morning. I don't have coffee every single day, but it's pretty close, you know, addiction or not, I'm gonna get one today. Either way, that should be on like a t-shirt. That's probably on a t-shirt already, I'll be honest. Just pulled up in Olympic Village, one of my favorite neighborhoods and like areas in Vancouver. Everything's just so new and and nice and clean. And I come to JJ Bean specifically sometimes when there's like other coffee shops nearby, but I go here because they're a Van City member. Again, it kind of means like when I spend my money there as opposed to other coffee shops, I know about where a bit of the money is going through Van City back into the community. And I also like their iced coffees. I feel like I'm on vacation walking through here. Like I'm in Hawaii or something. Bye. Yes, hard to imagine that this can help fight climate change at all. And I mean, yes, it's minuscule, like such small steps, but small steps are better than no steps. And they have a huge list that is just forever growing on their website of all the good that they are doing. Website linked below, of course. And now we must buy some flowers because it's a very special girl's birthday today. Jericho is my favorite beach because you have the whole beach and then you have a whole grass field also fire my room is in shambles right now and that's because I'm packing for Vegas my Vegas trip is tomorrow and tonight in like an hour, we have a creator event, a Vancouver creator event. I'm gonna bring my phone along, maybe this camera get a little bit of footage. I'm wearing my uh, packing outfit, as you can see. I'm trying to get all this stuff together before the morning because my flight is at nine, so I gotta leave here at like six something. You sure it was her? Can I feel like it was her? Platforms like be willing to try new platforms. I every time a new platform comes out. Let's see. Back to reality. We're back from Vegas and unfortunately I did not win back my spending this week on the slot machines. I tried, I went for it, I did. And at the end of the week, you know, we could have always done better in these videos, but it's all about the golden rule is like not spending more than you make. I did not spend more than I made this week, so I think that enables me to not feel guilty. And after adding it all together, gotta put this on here for the reveal. I spent $2,203.21. Thank you again to Van City for being a part of this video and also our community as a whole. And if any of your values align with Van City's values that we covered in this video, you can check out their website and Instagram linked below this video. They're all about financial force for change, and that says a lot. Leave a like on this video if you made it this far, and I'll see you in the next one.